far away and he's talking to me from Diwar today. But uh, we have, of course, a lot of pride with the, in the fact that Father Firoz has just been appointed to a very important post at Radio Veritas Asia, which is a Catholic radio station in the uh, broadcasting to Asia. It's a global radio station focusing on Asia. And Father, tell us more about that. You know, it's very interesting. Thank you, Frederick. You know, this is a this is an important uh, ministry that you connect with people through this medium. I, I appreciate your uh, your skill, your love for people. You know, I remember Frederick as a person who connects people. And uh, but talking about radio, we'll come to that later. Yeah, but first we'll talk about yeah. Veritas. So, talking about Radio Veritas, it's a uh, Radio Veritas um, as of now is a. Uh, face of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference, uh, especially for the Office of Social Communication. And uh, when people hear the word radio, they, they think it's like, no, it's radio. In fact, it is like a brand name. Uh, radio Veritas Asia started in the uh, 60s to defend the uh, church against the communist wave uh, attacking institutions, especially church institutions. So it's like uh, to stand for truth in midst of uh, false propaganda and if we take that line that uh, that motive uh, intention is still relevant today uh, so radio veritas uh, just to update you how is the trajectory uh, across asia they had radio platforms in various languages uh, still today we have uh, been broadcasting into uh, 21 language stations english is included today so 22 but in 2018, uh, the administration took a very decisive step and launched onto new media platform. So it is no longer radio broadcasting. In fact, they have closed down their broadcasting centers, which was very effective. And they are moving into this new media, uh, online platform, website, social media engagement. But they are still catering to the basic uh, language groups that do not understand English sometimes as a universal language. Uh, they are connecting to global Asians, uh, Asians who have migrated to other parts of the world. So there is a, this whole big connect. Uh, so Radio Veritas provides this connect. Definitely, it's a Catholic uh, media platform. So basically, it's uh, focusing on evangelization, bringing Christ to Asians and global Asians today. Um, so that is, Frederick, uh, in short, where we are today. And what would be your new role, Father, as the, in the news head? Or? You know, this uh, transition from uh, the radio programming, the entire language change, you know, from they had program directors earlier, they had radio engineers and sound engineers. Then now they needed a chief content editor who would curate content for all of these uh, language programs. They are running independently, uh, but uh, there is a, such a coordination today that was possible. And this is my first time Radio Veritas is having a chief editor, chief content editor in its uh, history of wow. 50 years. Wow. So you would be handling this from, from where? From which part of the world? Uh, the radio, radio Veritas office and the campus is based in Manila, uh, same campus of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference, FABC. So I will be based in Manila. Okay. So Manila be becomes a very strategic point because Philippines is like 80, 90% Catholic country. Uh, then uh, Philippine also is a neutral country for many of the other countries uh, to come for study and then also to run their language services because some of the Asian countries context is very challenging. Uh, so they use Philippines as a base. I remember when I was young, you know, we had this hobby called DXing, which means listening to distant and unknown radio stations. Yeah. And of course, Radio Veritas was uh, difficult to, to get radio station. They had powerful transmitters, but, uh, you know, given the conditions in Asia and the time zones and all these kind of things, you know, the bigger stations were much more powerful. But we would try to track Radio Veritas. We would listen to it. And uh, occasionally we would get it. We would write into them, get QSL reports and uh, cards and all these things. Uh, of course, the situation has changed, but now is it possible, say, mobiles have become very, uh, uh, you know, ubiquitous all over the place. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to get the broadcast of uh, Radio Veritas on your mobile phone? 
uh, as of now yes through a sharing of content but uh, they have maintained the 30 minutes legacy news clips uh, every day so that was a legacy program that they had uh, 30 minutes uh, so they are doing uh, 30 minutes legacy programs each language stations is part of that heritage they are doing this short clip of 30 minutes uh, onto audio and it is on different languages uh, uh, english they have not yet done it like you no know, english in fact was started just um, maybe a year ago uh, english website started just a year ago last year as i'm told uh, and the filipino service was uh, stopped last year so basically uh, these is all in different language uh, groups uh, in india we have five of them um, tamil uh, hindi uh, telugu and urdu uh, bengali so these stations are in india in myanmar there are language stations uh, radio is a very powerful connect uh, radio veritas people are still loyal to the brand and they connect to radio veritas but uh, about mobile uh, i think uh, some of the people are accessing through mobile i looked at the google analytics and uh, yes it can be done